There was one time that I had to go make a pickup for him of $10,000. And he told me, I want you to go. I want you to go pick this up. And I want you to put it in the car. Okay. Now, mind you, I didn't see him until the next day. So what I did is I put the money in the glove box and locked the glove box. The next day, I gave him his money. He was happy. And then he said, where did you put the money? I put it in the glove box. He started yelling at me and screaming and telling me, you do not. Don't put it in the glove box. That's the first place they look. <laughs> you got to put it under the mat. Always put it under the mat. And mind you, this was like a four-hour ordeal. Just telling me, if you get money from me, you put it under the mat, not the glove box. <laughs> <laughs> what if they steal the car? Doesn't matter Doesn't if it's matter. under the mat or in the glove Doesn't box. Doesn't matter, <laughs> because it's under the mat. Oh, man. And believe me, that was a that was like a four-hour type of argument. <laughs> and there he is in the car, opening and closing the compartment, the glove box, telling me, not here. Not here. <laughs> Down here. <laughs> I was talking to Joey about that the other day. Oh, that's funny. And Joey says, what's the matter with you, man? You got to put it on the... <laughs> Everybody knew except me. Colada, colada, grab your favorite brew. Ask a question, he'll answer it for you. The mafia, the mafia, the mafia, the mafia. You better hit prescribe if you know what's good for you. Drinking a cup of coffee with Frank Colada, he'll tell you a lot of, he's Frank Colada. I had a similar incident, not similar, but he asked me, I had to go pick up some money for him. Dino? Um, no, it was from another guy, I don't want to mention oh, his name. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that Okay. One. Yeah. So, and this is nothing illegal by the way guys, like we're not talking about anything illegal, he just had... Somebody owed him some money, and we went and picked it up for him, okay? Yes, they need a pay him by. <laughs> so he called me up, and he's like, I got to pick up this envelope. And he says, 5G. Five, five I said to him, okay. And <clears throat> as I'm walking out of his place, he looks at me, and he goes, now, uh, don't get lost, okay? <laughs> <laughs> don't get lost, don't okay? Don't get lost. <laughs> once you get there and you get the envelope call me okay so i drive i pick up the envelope i get in the car i call up frank i said hey i got the envelope right it's with Ooh. me in the car frank says to me i said i'm i said i'm on my way back frank said okay don't don't go get in any accidents on your way back. <laughs> <laughs> and so, he you should be on the phone with them until you get there. Yeah, right? Shoot. He didn't make me stay on the phone with him. He said, "Don't get in any accidents when you get back." I came back, handed it to him, he opened it. He said, "Good boy." Yeah, so that a boy, all right? That a boy. <laughs> that a boy, especially when you're driving the car with him. Mm -hmm. He wants you to take the light. Take the light. Yeah. Because you could tell that he wants you to take the light. And then what does he say when you take the light? Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what so, they did in the Chicago way. Yeah. Take the light. Take the light. <laughs> well, kind of taught me how to drive, too. He was very concerned about the way you drove his car. Oh. Always concerned. See, I again, I drove him several times in his vehicle. Mm -hmm. And every time that we got into his vehicle, um, yeah, he would, he'd bust my balls, man, about every little thing, you know, but I was just going, man, this guy's a backseat driver, <laughs> but he's in the front. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, about the buttons, about the lights, about this. Why did you do this? Why all the time? And then as soon as I park the car, what do I do? Yeah. I go to the back, get a damn cloth and start wiping down the car. Uh -huh. So he always tell the people, he goes like this. Yeah, I drive this type of car. My driver's out there probably washing it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always had to keep that car clean. Always. It's all about the presentation. Yes, it's it is. It's all about the presentation. Yes. And with Frank, it was also about perfectionism. He said it. He said to me, he said to me, um, I'm a perfectionist. That's why I get this way. He actually said it in one of the episodes. I'm a perfectionist, mm -hmm. right? Well, you know the way, right? Mara was telling you about the way. Uh, Joe said it the other day. Oh, yeah, there's you three got the, ways. You got the, the right, right way, way, the, the wrong, wrong way, and the Kalata way. way. There's three ways to do it. 
the right way, the wrong way, and the colada way. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you something it has to be the, the colada, colada way. way it does every time we're, when we're in chicago uh <laughs> not this easter that passed the last easter uh that's all frank was saying <laughs> all he's saying is lewis tell them that's what <laughs> I told him. and i was surprised joey remembered that he was saying that because the right way the wrong way and the colada way. and the other thing he said all the time too that joey said the other and the other night i said it to him and he started laughing and he said it back to me later he's like you know it and, and I, I know it, it. we both <laughs> know it <laughs> you know it and not and then also what he always said he goes buddy that's right buddy always remember that buddy okay buddy yeah <laughs> let's go get a hot dog <laughs> yeah frank and the hot dogs oh when i was talking to you yet when we we're at the the place and i said you know i'll go fuck yourself <sighs> i didn't refer it negative i refer it the way frank would frank have said, said it yeah always that's what i said it when yourself. i said you know what go fuck yourself <laughs> i think i don't know who thought it you know because i told celeste he goes oh just to let you know celeste frank always said that so yeah. here's why he told me to go fuck myself <laughs> <laughs> because we went out to dinner to to kind of have a a dinner uh, uh, a send off a send off you might say yeah and we had uh and you and i were there and and joey and uh joey's few, wife a couple, yeah a few others friends. right yeah and um and it was lewis's birthday <laughs> which i said not to. <laughs> which you said not to say because you know joey's busy with the, taking care of everything and yes. he didn't want him to be distracted and have to to worry about lewis's birthday on top of everything else mm -hmm. so at the end of the dinner i said make a toast and happy birthday to lewis and then of course we embarrassed him with the cake and the singing and all that nonsense so <laughs> <laughs> which i which i didn't want which lewis is i'm thinking he's probably going to get back at me for that so i, I will <laughs> I will get back to him, like Frank would have said. Like Frank would have said, when they're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> My dad always said, "Payback's a bitch. Don't forget that." <laughs> and with and with Frank, it's a double bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Lewis, it's been cool sitting here talking with you today. Thank you again for the uh, Monte Cristo. Welcome. Next time we'll. Uh... You bye. <laughs> you sound like Frank. You buy. You buy. <laughs> a good one. Good ones. Not good like one. the cheap ones that I brought for you last time that we had a cigar. The ones I almost choked on. It's like smoking a fire stick. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen to this guy. So, look, everybody, it's been fun. Thanks for sticking around. If you're still sticking around, you're uh, going to see a little bit uh, more here of uh, Lewis and Joey. So, we'll roll that mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, see you next time. Okay, and be sure to hit the prescribe button, hit the like button. Oh yeah, and be sure to go over to those uh, Sunday paper, uh, Sunday papers podcast, and let them know what you uh, think of their show. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Frankie's brother Joey. I just want to introduce you to Lewis, my brother's very good friend, who's going to be driving the tour bus out here in Las Vegas. He works with Adam. Adam Flowers. We hope anybody that wants to take the tour will come and see them. It's a really good tour, and I think everybody would enjoy it. Here's Lewis, everybody. Hello, everybody. I'm Lewis Flores. I was personal friend and driver to Mr. Frank Collada. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode with Coffee with Collada. I hope to see you soon here, out here in Las Vegas. I didn't get to say this the last time when I spoke. When I grew up, everybody in my neighborhood had a father. I didn't have a father. But everybody knew who my brother was. Everybody knew who he was. He was a good older brother. He took very good care of me growing up. He helped me out a lot. I didn't get to say that the last time because I was kind of broken up. And it's very hard to talk when you're talking like this. but. I want to thank everybody who prescribed, as my brother would say to his channel, <laughs> and I hope everybody would keep prescribing to it, and if you have friends prescribed to it, it meant a lot to them. It was Adam and Ellie's project, and they got my brother involved, and it means an awful lot. So I appreciate everybody, and my brother really does feel bad for everybody that he hurt. He didn't mean to hurt anybody in his life, it was just... 
That's what happened in his life. And thank you everybody very much for watching Coffee with Colada. Thank you. And hey, Joey, uh, Lewis and I are probably going to go to Chicago. Do you think we could stop in and say hi to you over there? Anytime you want, buddy. <laughs> All right. Anytime you want to stop in, you're more than welcome. Adam was going to put my brother in his house when my brother got sick, him and his wife. They set up the whole upstairs of their house for him. I mean, you don't get friends like that. They made an apartment out of their three bedroom upstairs. They made a bedroom, an office. They made it perfect for him. And there's one other person I'd like to thank that I haven't thanked. In fact, there's two people I'd like to thank that I haven't thanked. Thank Mike and his niece, Tia. He really cared for those people. They were good to him, very good to him. This is his eulogy. And that's all I got, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Please be sure to visit frankcolata.com for coffee cups and t-shirts. Also, hit the like button, share this video. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the subscribe, I found gold. I hope you enjoyed yourself. God bless.